This video presents Auto ETF, a plugin for visualization of software traceability. This screencast is the second part of a collection of two screencasts. Please refer to the previous screencast to understand the generation of traceability data. After starting the application, the first step is to load the data. In this case, we open the last recent data containing the traceability information in XML. A report of the data loaded shows the number of nodes and ages in the XML file. Those nodes are software artifact, requirement, source code and test. Ages are the relation traceability links. The following figure give an overview of the system we are analyzing the traceability data for. This is a car power train system. A driver can push and release a throttle pedal. He can also push and release a brake pedal. The system change the gear, update the vehicle speed and the engine RPM. The tool let the user visualize the data requirement, source code and test, and the links. A toolbar let the user change the level of granularities of the software artifacts. When the user select use cases, the requirement node expands into use cases nodes. Individual selection of nodes show connections. Other granularity such as namespaces, class, method, line number and memory address are possible for source code. Note that the user is able to zoom and navigate into the graph. Now we select a source code artifact of type class. The namespace artifact will expand into the classes artifact. Those are the classes from the powertrain system. Gear that implements the logic of the different gears, the gear classes, first, second, third and fourth, gear state to store the current used gear, shift logic that implements change state of the gear such as up, down, or steady change state. When we select an individual node, such as gear state, it shows the connection to the change gear and to the tests. In this case, no connection to the tests means that class need to be tested. If we select the class Shift Logic, it highlights the connection to the change gear and update vehicle speed use case. That means that if we change the Shift Logic class, it may affect both use cases. At the same time, it means that both use cases are implemented in that class. In this case, the Shift Logic is on the test. Now we de zoom to see the full graph of the system. Let's now switch the source code artifact from classes to method. All the classes artifact will explode into method artifact. Those are the methods from the powertrain system, such as gear is the gear class constructor, first is the first class constructor, the first class and second, third and fourth extend the gear. For example, in the first class we have the method getCurrent to get the actual gear number, the method getGear to get gear number belonging to this class and the method up to switch up to the next gear, the second class. The second class is similar with the difference that it contains one more method, the method down 
to switch down to the first gear, the first class. Tests has also different granularities, such as test files, test methods, line number and memory addresses. Now we switch the test granularity from test to test files. In our case, we have eight test files. Gear test to test the gear logic in the class first, second, third and fourth. Shift logic to test the gear shifting states, upshifting, downshifting and steady for no shifting. Threshold calculation to test the threshold tables which defines the best gear to use according to the current gear and speed. Transmission to test the transmission of the system. Transmission gear ratio that tests that the correct torque output with the selected gear and throttles of the car. Now we can switch further to test methods and see the methods contained into those test files. The software still managed to show the links between those artifacts. Visualization of lines show only line number. It is possible to change the labeling to see more details. The source code of Auto ETF, our visualization tool, is available online. The case study, the embedded gear, is also available online for downloading. For more information, please refer to the software Quality Engineering Research Group at the University of Calgary. Thank you for watching.